Hi, we're Alt Lab Controllers, and welcome to the first look at the official Smashdick Remap software. We're super excited to show you guys what we've been working on, but before we start, please keep in mind that what we're showing you right now is an early build of the Remap software. So we still have some placeholder images in here, and we are still working on some of the functionality. Um, what we intend to do with this preview video is just show you guys what the software is really all about, all the things that you can do in it, and how you can use these features to just create any profile that you can think of. Uh, so to go ahead and get started, you know, all you have to do is just choose the console mode that you want to work in. So N64 mode, GameCube mode, or USB. And then you can go ahead and select the profile. Uh, profile 1, 2, or 3. Uh, keep in mind that these profiles are unique to the console mode. So if I go ahead and create my own, you know, I'm just going to put a few buttons here. If I create my own custom uh, profile on, say, GameCube Profile 1, it will be completely different than what I have set on N64 Profile 1. So you have three unique profiles for each cable, which means you have nine profiles total that you can create. Uh, so what I'm actually going to do here is I'm going to load all the profiles that I've saved to my Smash Stick currently. So in order to do that, you just come down to this little button that says load from controller. I select my device and then give it a few seconds, it's going to load. And here we go. I have all my custom profiles that you can see. They're pretty much all different. So profile one, two, and three in USB, they are completely all different from all the other profiles I have loaded. So. For this example, let's go ahead and work in uh, Pro GameCube Profile 1. I currently have set this set to be my Melee Profile. Uh, you'll notice that I have all my buttons set. I can go ahead and customize this by coming down to any drop down. So if I want to change my, my joystick from left stick to C stick, I can do that. But you notice that my C stick will become unmapped from the buttons. That's because we don't allow duplicate inputs in the software. So if you have something set to your joystick as an example, you can't set that same thing to the buttons, which means I can't have my C stick mapped to the buttons and the joystick at the same time. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm just going to put this back to my left stick and I'm just going to go ahead and hit the little drop down here. So I'm going to set this back to my right stick. So C stick up, uh, C stick right. Keep in mind that you don't have to just use this drop down. You can also drag things as well, uh, your personal preference. So working within the remap area is pretty straightforward. Uh, we do have this toggle functionality, which works the same way it does on the actual controller. Whatever you, whenever you press the toggle button, this will change some of the functionality that you have. So this essentially gives you two profiles in one. Uh, I normally like to use this for my C stick. If I hold the toggle button, and I can have my C stick turn to D-pad, but that's not necessarily always the case. If I wanted to come to USB, um, this is also my my Smash mode. I use this for Smash Ultimate. Uh, this is using uh, PlayStation icons at the moment, uh, but you know, it's still the same thing. Uh, I have this also changing my D-pad, but I made a slight tweak with this. Because in Ultimate, uh, the, the triggers will actually act as shields. In order to reset the training mode, you want to go ahead and use the bumpers. So what I ended up doing is I just say, okay, if I'm holding toggle, my triggers will just change to bumpers here. And I also made this uh, the home button. But yeah, it's pretty pretty easy. Uh, what we have here with the settings, uh, this is all the things that we're still working on. So I'm not going to go into some into all the all of these. Some of these options aren't ready for the public to see just yet. Uh, but this is a little sneak peek. Uh, we have our profiles, which allows you to just share the profiles that you make. Uh, you can create all your profiles. You can import them, export them, or just you know you just just share them. Uh, the angles, uh, I'm not going to go into this just yet. Like I said, these aren't ready for the public to see just yet. Uh, but the angles, this allows you to go ahead and set uh, diagonal input. So if I have my C stick mapped to buttons, I can go ahead and change what angle I get when I have a diagonal input done. So if I press C stick up and C stick right at the same time, I'm going to have a custom uh, angle set for that for that button here. Uh, the other one here I have is triggers. Um, like I said, I'm not going to go into these just yet. Uh, they aren't ready for the public to see, but uh, I can go ahead and change my shoulder value. So if I want to go ahead in my melee mode and make a light shield button, I can go ahead and define that here with that, with that trigger button. And then for the labels, this is something we're still working on. Uh, this can go ahead and just change what labels you see on the USB mode. So if you don't want it to be the PlayStation icons, you can go ahead and change it to the Xbox icons or the Nintendo Switch icons. Now, 
Going a little bit deeper to some of the profiles I have set, my USB one is just mainly for, for platform fighters. So like I was saying earlier, this is what I use to play Ultimate. Um, but it can work on other platform fighters. You know, if I hook it up to the computer, I can play games like Rivals of Ether as well. Um, profile two, this is my, my uh, I, I, it's mainly for traditional fighters. I emulated it off a eight button arcade stick. So I have the joystick set to D-pad and I just mainly use these eight buttons for, for the, uh, you know, functionality. But what I ended up doing with the toggle here is kind of cool. This allows me, whenever I have toggle held, this gives me other buttons I don't have mapped. So I can use the select button, a uh, touchpad, and home. So using the select button in training mode, you know, for, for most fighting games, gives me more functionality. Uh, let's say I'm playing Tekken as an example. I can go ahead and just, you know, reset my character to a certain uh, place on the screen. Um, I can go ahead and reset whatever um, training option I had using the various buttons, which is pretty cool. Uh, so to go ahead and give an example, I'm actually going to go ahead and switch over to a game that I have loaded up right now. And you can see that I have Rivals of Ether. Oops. <laughs> there we go. Let me adjust that. Rivals of Ether loaded up. Uh, let me switch my screen here. And you can see that I'm right now I'm in profile one. And I have complete control here of the character. You know, the joystick is set to analog. It's left stick. So if I go slowly, I'm going to walk. If I go fast, I'm going to dash. And you can see it's analog if I want to go ahead and do a wave dash, for example. I can go ahead and just wave dash down. And if I do it really slightly, I'm going to get a really small wave dash. But if I start moving the joystick further, you know, I can go ahead and get really short wave dashes, medium, or really long wave dashes as well. And the profile, you know, is just really just set for, for platform fighters. So I have all my C-stick inputs here, which are going to be my my aerials. So this here is my forward smash. You know, they're just, it's just you know, how it would normally work in game. And if I hold toggle, this is going to now turn to D-pad, so I can go ahead and get taunts as well. Now, I'm going to go ahead and switch to profile two, which is for platform, not for platform fighters, it's for tra traditional fighters. But you notice that all the buttons have, are now changed. So what was originally my attack button is now blank, because I have all these buttons mapped here. So you can see everything is completely blank. And if I use the joystick now, I'm going to taunt, because it's set to D-pad instead of left analog stick. So that's it. Um, this was just a quick little overview of the remap software. I uh, hope you guys like what you see. We're still working really hard on it and we can't wait to get this out in your guys' hands. So thank you so much for watching and we'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you.